Well, the GOP establishment is in full meltdown mode over what happened to Kevin McCarthy. Let's take a look at that. Hi, this is Pastor Marty. Welcome to the Afternoon Drive. Please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Once you are, smack the bell, click the word all, and that will bring you notification of my rants, my ravings, and of course, my undeniably 100% accurate reasonings. Hey, and once you are subscribed, please like and share this video. That helps us get the word out that we're there. I don't take it for granted you're there. Thank you so much for joining us on the Afternoon Drive. Well, right on cue, faux pas news and establishment Republicans like Newt Gingrich, Manglamin, and the rest of that ilk are just in meltdown mode that Kevin McCarthy has been removed. This had never happened before. Matt Gates followed through on his threat to bring to the floor the motion to vacate. Now, before you decide and you pick a team here, uh, let me just say I am for conservatism. I am for real conservatism moving forward. Um, Matt Gates wins this round, but I'm not going to swear my undying alliance and allegiance to Matt Gates. I don't know the man personally. I don't know if there aren't any skeletons in his closet. Kevin McCarthy is what he is. He was an absolute establishment GOP hack who loved the backroom wheeling and dealing and loved to get along where he could with the establishment Democrats. Again, that's what professional Washington is all about. Kevin McCarthy, certainly a very, very big player in establishment politics. So I'm not crying that Kevin McCarthy is gone, but I'm not ready to say that, you know, I've got giving undying allegiance to Matt Gates. Now, to some of you who are obviously very glad that Kevin McCarthy is done and, you know, that the, the MAGA Republicans struck a blow to the liberals and you don't quite understand why Donald Trump is trashing on it. What Donald Trump has is plausible deniability. Let me say that again. Donald Trump has plausible deniability. He came out and said, hey, I like Kevin McCarthy. I think Kevin McCarthy ought to stay. I think Republicans need to stop fighting each other, and they need to fight corrupt Biden. Now, Donald Trump 2016 would have actually really, truly believed that. Donald Trump 2023 understands that it was Republicans, establishment Republicans in the Congress that worked just as hard to stop him and stop his agenda as the Democrats did. But what Donald Trump is doing is, is trying to, uh, again, not make this about, oh, see, Donald Trump is the reason that McCarthy is gone, and this is why we can't have Donald Trump as our nominee. This is why we can't have Donald Trump out there leading the party or speaking for the party or as our, our, our national candidate. He can say, hey, I liked McCarthy. I, I, I even said, I don't think McCarthy ought to go. Wink, wink. So there's that. So some of you, 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 you Trump supporters and MAGA people that are a little bit, what, what, why is Donald Trump saying that? It's okay. Breathe, relax, take the victory lap that McCarthy is done. But listening to these establishment Republicans and these neocons, and here it comes. We're going to lose now in 2024 because of the MAGA influence. They're the ones that tanked our chances in 2022. Wrong. We did not lose out on a red wave in 2022 because of Donald Trump or his endorsements of candidates. We lost out in 2022 because people like Kevin McCarthy and people like Mitch McConnell, establishment Republicans, worked tirelessly to thwart and stop the MAGA candidates. And you know why? For their own personal benefit. That's why. They stopped the MAGA move, the MAGA wave of 2022, not just by cutting off their funds, 
but literally working behind the scenes, working to help elect their Democratic challengers. Yes, Mitch McConnell worked to elect Democratic challengers. Mitch McConnell is in it up to his eyeballs in the mess that happened in Arizona, which was a, a, a theft of an election of, of Kerry Lake. There, I said it. So the idea was, well, if we, we let these MAGA people get in there, well, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll hold the rest of us in the establishment Republican wing in check, so we can't have them there. And <laughs> despite the fact they stopped the red wave of 2022, they couldn't stop MAGA from telling the speaker, bye, 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 bye. Now, I know there's all kinds of movements out there. Let's draft Trump, you know, nominate Trump. And that would be great. And I think him as Speaker of the House would be awesome. I understand now that Jim Jordan is officially throwing his hat in the ring. And I would be 100% for Jim Jordan being uh, the next Speaker of the House. I think he would do a fantastic job and he would certainly be a true conservative. And so this is where I'm at with all this. I, I, don't don't listen to the Newt Gingriches and, and the Mark Levins whine and cry that, you know, this is going to hurt us and blah, 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 blah. And, and you got the Democrats out there saying what an attack on democracy, even though they voted right along to get rid of, of the speaker. And let me tell you, though, there's panic on the Democrat side, and I'll get to that in a minute. But don't, don't buy into the hype that you're going to get on faux pas news, Fox News, or the Dennis Pragers, or any of the establishment so-called conservative voices. Because these people hate MAGA. They hate Trump, they hate you, they hate me, they hate MAGA. You know, Rush Limbaugh warned us about them 20 years ago. He said, you know, I don't understand. He said, we keep wanting to punish the pro-life Christian right wing of the Republican Party. He said, I don't understand that. They're the only ones that score touchdowns for us. They're the ones that got Ronald Reagan into office, not once but twice, and helped get Bush in there. They've actually produced. And all of these establishment rhinos have done nothing but continually capitulate and sell out to the Democrats. Rush Limbaugh was saying that 20 years ago. And you know what happens every four to six years? These establishment Republicans come out, they campaign, they glad hand, they handshake, they do their events, they give speeches that we like, they say the things that we agree with, but really, behind closed doors, they're in bed with the millionaire, billionaire donors, so they're going back to Washington to do their bidding and basically stick it to family values and traditional things that you and I hold near and dear. There you go. And MAGA is all about we the people, we're in charge. And let me tell you, Kevin McCarthy did try to cut deals with the Democrats to stay. And he thought it was going to happen. But let me tell you why last night, at, what was it, 7, 7.30, why he said he's not going to seek another term. He didn't do that out of the good of the party or the good of the country or any such hogwash. He is an absolute uh, egomaniac narcissist. There were other Republicans who went to him and said, it's over. We may not have voted with Matt Gates, but we're telling you, don't run. You don't have the support. It will get ugly and it will be embarrassing. Do not run. You're over. You're done with. We wanted you to be the Trojan horse. Apparently, you can't pull it off. McCarthy has stepped aside because he has no support. So this opens the door for a real conservative. Now, will we get the kind of conservative that we really want? I really think Jim Jordan would do a phenomenal job. Are we going to get him? I don't know. That would really take an absolute move of God to make that happen. But all things are possible. Uh, we're going to have to get a, the kind of conservative we can at least live with. And McCarthy just simply proved he was a liar and a backroom deal maker. And he was going to fund that Ukraine war indefinitely. And it's about time to make some things happen in this country and take all that money that we're giving to Lockheed Martin and let's do some things here. You know, we really could put a real dent in things like homelessness and the infrastructure which is crumbling around us in this country. Let's put America first. So all that aside,
Let me tell you, though, the Democrats, though on the one hand, they want to they wanna look around and go, look at the Republicans, look at this division, this is great. But I promise you, the establishment Democrats, the Democrats that really yield the, and wield the power in Washington, they're terrified. And here's why they're terrified. They're worried that the progressives in the Democratic Party will take a look at Matt Gates and the Freedom Caucus and start getting ideas. Start becoming inspired. Start deciding, hey, maybe when the Democrats run this house again, maybe we should make sure that we get some things that we want or we'll vacate the speaker. Bum, ba dum bum. Bum, ba dum bum bum. That, that's 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 coming that's coming so uh i take this as a win for us those of us who are true conservatives again i'm not ready to swear my undying allegiance that matt gates is this super uber principal guy and I, I, I don't know anything about him personally maybe he's a great guy I, I like a lot of the things that he says but i've learned not to put all my eggs in one basket and you know y- you hear me now but I will say this, we're going to take this victory lap, and whether it's Jim Jordan or Donald Trump, it would be great to have a real MAGA conservative like that at the helm, running that house. You'd actually see some things get done that need to get done, and that would basically right there be the real end of the Biden agenda. But we'll see what happens moving forward. But listening listening to the neocons, the establishment Republicans, whine and cry and beller. Newt, please. You're what, 90? Sorry. Hang it up. Throw it in. Go golf or sit by a palm tree on a beach and and sip a Mai Tai. Those Republican ideals and that era is over. It is no more. Bye, 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 bye.